Last weekend we got a new letter from ABBA, a letter to the fans, as well as a fascinating documentary about ABBA's music and new pictures from Agneta that I haven't seen before. Let's bring it together in this video. Hey hey! So, as I said last time, ABBA's 50th anniversary of Waterloo kind of came and went, but for this anniversary you all helped out and we actually reached a new milestone on the channel with 25,000 subscribers. Thank you. That was even one week before ABBA's big anniversary happened and by now we are even close to 26,000. That's just wild. Well, from so many subscribers, so many have not seen the brand new video where we go on location tour to the Waterloo Castle, where ABBA took their iconic photo session 50 years ago. This is a trip through space and time, nostalgic and touching, literally a time machine in 16 minutes. For many of you, the very best video on the channel by far. You will find the video on this channel in the section New to the channel or Waterloo, or in the comment section of this video at the very top as a pinned comment. One day before the celebrations, we celebrated Agneta's 74th birthday. New photos appeared on the internet, which I haven't seen before. They were released by Swedish actor and director Magnus Hochsberg. These photos are not from this year, but from 2011, when Agneta attended the 50th birthday party of Magnus himself. Now, one of the very best outcomes from ABBA's Waterloo celebrations was a one-hour documentary on BBC Radio 4. This feature explores ABBA's phenomenal songwriting skill, approach to melody and vocal harmony, the structure of their songs, their pioneering mixing and recording. ABBA Inside the Music follows the evolution of their craft across all eight studio albums before the band separated from the Schlager-influenced folk of Ring Ring to the electronic soundscapes of The Visitors, a huge musical transformation worthy of comparison to The Beatles. Along the way, the group experimented with genres as diverse as reggae, glam rock, prog rock, disco and latterly musical theatre. But behind all of it is their signature Nordic blend of melancholy and euphoria, the two moods, minor and major, running together across the whole of ABBA's output. I highly recommend to check out this very special program, a documentary in search of ABBA's craft and their musical art. And I wish that more documentaries would explore ABBA and their actual music on a level like this. Thank you to the producers and people responsible for ABBA Inside the Music. In other news, for the very first time ever, the Pinball Brothers created and released two pinball machines dedicated to ABBA. These were created with the help of Ludwig Andersson. There are two versions, Voyage with music and footage from ABBA's Voyage show and the classic edition Arrival with a fully interactive replica of the Arrival helicopter. The launch happened on the evening of the 6th of April and you can now watch an interview with Ludwig on YouTube. For the end of today, I want to read the entire letter from ABBA to their fans. It's slightly dizzying and deeply humbling to think that millions of you who saw us for the first time in the Eurovision final 1974 have passed our music on, not only to one generation, but to several. We see evidence of that every time one of us visits ABBA Voyage in London and it's because of this we can celebrate the 50th anniversary of that event in the knowledge that our songs still resonate around the world. It's difficult to comprehend that 50 years have gone by since the four of us waited backstage for the verdicts of all the juries around Europe at the Dome in Brighton. So what were our dreams during those suspenseful moments or in the chaos in the aftermath of the victory we had secured with the smallest margin in Eurovision history. Four different dreams, no doubt, but whatever they were, however grand, reality has surpassed them, that's for sure. Many of you were there from the very start and have followed us ever since, for over half a century. Music you discover and learn to love when you grow up or even later in life has a way of staying with you forever. We share that experience with you and to know that our music has become a constant in your lives is a wonderful thing. Throughout the years we have been blessed with the outpouring of love from you, our fans. We feel it and we want you to know that hardly a day goes by when we are not reminded of it. 
To say thank you for what you are giving us without sounding trivial is not easy and this is not a moment for triviality. It is a happy and at the same time solemn moment and we can only hope that you understand how deeply grateful we are for a long, successful career and for your steadfast loyalty and support through the years. Thank you. Agneta, Björn, Benny, Anifried. And now, don't forget to listen to the one-hour ABBA documentary on BBC Radio 4 and to watch my time capsule of Waterloo. Let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey-do! Hey-do!